So I've heard cat videos are very popular on YouTube. So I'm starting my video with a cat. This is Bori. And he's one of our four cats. The other three are mostly outside, but this one is always sleeping here on this place. Hmm, Bori? But yeah, this is the Dykes channel and no cat channel, and today I'm going to do an unboxing and review about these beauties right there. Some empty boxes right here. Oh, this is for my brother. He's into Lego. Bricks of Arnhem is his Instagram account, and I believe he's also on Facebook. No YouTube channel. And um, I bought this for him. Pretty cool police station. Okay, let's see. There's the tripod right here. So we have three mask items from uh, Mijaret. We got a uh, camera a little bit higher. Here we go. We got this truck right here. A man GGX 40 uh, container. And then we have the Volvo transporter container. And I think most of you are very curious about this crafter right here. And we even got a plane, and that's a very good uh, plane, by the way. So yeah, let's uh, start with this one right here. Let's have a look at the back. The package first, you got the barcode article number and we can see Meteorette is active on social media. And we see it's a licensed product that is what we like. Okay, now how can I open this on a... Hmm. So here we have the crafter and maybe it's better if there is some extra light. There we go. Marsk all the way. Marsk.com right here. There are windows here in the side and we can see it's a left hand drive. It got side mirrors, that is what I like. And good rolling wheels i like these rims and we see that there is an opening part uh, yep slides open pretty well can we have a look inside No um, details inside, no accessories or whatsoever. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this slide hole right here. There is another brand and they have the slide hole on the base, which I think it's much better. But it's cool that it has an opening part for sure. I really like that. Oh yeah, this is the best way to do it. There you go. That's pretty cool looking. Here we got the top of the wagon, the roof, and this is the back. So we got Crafter, Marsk logo all the way, and Marsk.com, and we got a tow bar. Here's the other side. Let's have a look at the interior. Steering wheel, dashboard, all looking good. Yep, very good looking interior. And here we have the base, plastic base. And what is the skill? I believe it's 164. Yep, there it is. A true 164 skill VDUP crafter. Really nice. And it rolls really well. Very cool, I like it. Really happy with this. Then the plane, and although it's a pretty small scale, I have to say I like these Meteorette planes a lot. 
do not compare it with brands like uh, Herpa or Gemini. But for a plane that is made as a toy, uh, it looks really good. Even the wheels I can live with. Sometimes you have these toy planes and they have these giant fake wheels. But this is actually pretty good looking. And the good thing also is that it's made completely out of die cast. So the wings are metal here. This, this is metal. The wings in the back are metal. I think it's a pretty cool plane. And I'm definitely going to make a photo with this one. Yeah, and the wheels, yeah, they uh, are plastic, but uh, I think they're not bad, uh, bad at all. If you keep in mind, this is a, a toy plane, and here we got painted windows, but uh, pretty cool looking uh, Marsk Air Cargo plane. Yeah, I'm going to put it right here. Then I'm going to look at this truck first. So this is the Volvo transporter container. And we got two containers in the back. Logistic. Um, I'm a big fan of these Mitred trucks. Uh, especially because of the wheels. I think they look really cool and uh, also realistic. Here we got the front with the Volvo, Volvo logo, painted front lights, but uh, lots of details. We also got side mirrors. Um, let's take this off. So you have to use some power, no? Yes, we have to use some power. There we go. And then we can slide it off. Um, yeah, this is uh, made out of metal. Everything you see here, windows on the sides and in the front. Yeah, these are side mirrors. And we got a plastic base. Now I believe this is a 187 scale. Yep, so perfect for uh, train models. And here we got the interior. Nice steering wheel. I like that. Yes. I think that's important. Some brands do not think it's important. I think a steering wheel is important. Okay. Um, here we got some plastic. That's one. There's another one. Keep the container on its place because these are loose on the truck. Oh, look at that! Yes, I like that. Yep, that is perfect. And the same wheels as the truck right here. And the containers, there are four holes. And here we got four pins. And it fits perfect. And now, can we open the container? Yes. Not on the normal way. More like a garage door. I think actually, if the real ones opens open like this, that would be uh, much better than doors that go open to the right and to the left. I think that's pretty cool. Not bad at all. And yeah, you can hide something there. And same for this one. Pretty cool uh, mask containers. You can also use them for uh, deco. And then you can slide it back on. 
Yep. Rolls really well. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I bumped into the camera. Then, last but not least, we have another truck. And then you think, hey, they probably used the same uh, truck in front of the container. No. They're using a different truck, and I like that. This is a, a man, TGX, and the other one was a, there it is, Volvo Transporter. And this one is with a big container. In white. This is this is definitely my favorite. Yep. Yeah. Got the same opening part right here. A garage door opening. Um I forgot to mention but the construction uh, of the trailer is made out of metal. And here in the back it is made out of plastic. You can slide this off. Here we have the truck, same wheels. We got some more details here. Nice man logo. And this one is also a little bit bigger. Well, let's have a look at the interior. Painted front lights, and we got yeah, 187 scale, plastic base, some details, not much. And of course, it is also possible to switch trailer. That is no problem at all. You see? Really happy uh, with this uh, Marsk set. And I believe there is also a boat from Marsk, a container ship. So if you're into uh, Marsk and you like Mijaret, this is uh, definitely a must have. Yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please thumbs up. You really help me with that. Have a nice day, and I'll see you soon in the next Diecast video. Bye.